Hey, what's up YouTube? Alf here with some more GBL battles for you in the Great League. These were recorded a little bit earlier in the season, so if you're wondering why I'm suddenly rank 6, uh, these were recorded the first time uh, Great League was around this season. Um, hasn't changed much, there haven't been a lot of additions to the meta, so these battles are still pretty good. This team definitely built to do a couple things. It's built to beat some of the known teams, and you'll see a couple of those in action. You'll see a couple grasshole teams. You'll see one of Caleb's old double grass teams. We're out there hunting those. Those teams are popular. Um, they're good teams, but uh, having a plan for those as well as a plan for other teams uh, puts us in really great shape. So I hope you enjoy the battles. Uh, Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let me know how Great League is running for you right now, or if you're playing one of the other leagues. I'm curious which of the uh, available leagues is most famous, and have a good time in Flying Cup later today if it hasn't already started for you. Cheers. All right, let's go. Let's go. This team feeling pretty good. Let's see if we can push our way into rank seven. Hey, Mini Dave, welcome to the stream. JC Power, our opponent. Let's go. Umbreon. All right. Well, not exactly what I'm looking for. Um, because like many cases, um, the Umbreon matchups are relatively even. Like we don't, I think we narrowly lose this fight under normal circumstances, but there's a lot of play here. Um, and a lot of opportunity for both players to sort of find advantage. So let's see. Or I might narrowly win. That's also a distinct possibility. I know it's close. Hey, Ninja BDW. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm sure Venusaur is good against something else on their team. Like, the thing that worries me the most here... Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Come on, come on, Vine Whip. Come on, Vine Whip. Ugh. I'm hoping they don't have something like a Skarmory. Or a Bronzong to really punish us. The upside is they just, they just locked this in into one of its genuinely worst matchups. So. Oh God. Some more copy pasta. I love it. I love it. I should have, I should have at least gone for the, uh, the shadow ball. Cause the actual, the size shock here will actually hit hard enough that, uh, I really wish I was shielding it. I really wish I could shield this, but I can't. And this bulldoze were in real trouble. Nope. Size shock. Yeah. Like that actually hits pretty hard. gonna be Umbreon again it is but Umbreon's gonna die to one fire spin so I like that oh hey well we're still behind on a sh on shields which I don't love but Skarmory is pretty good against Shiftery especially if they don't shield that like we're gonna do it yeah that was that was a, a big mistake yeah they gave up GG's Hot Spiro's looking for trainers in your area. Yeah, that's disconcerting. All right, let's go again. Next week is Skitty. I mean, Skitty at least has a shiny check, right? So I'm into that. Mokin. Mokan. Let's go. Let's go. Galvanchilla. All right, well. This is an awkward matchup, but we actually, I think, win the one shield here. Because they really can't take a sludge bomb. And we can take a, uh, a lunch because we take neutral from it as opposed to super effective. So I think this is a, a, a general, a general win for us. There's their shield. So let's see what they want to do. I'm going to give them a shield. Because I'm going to la try and land a sludge bomb. And if they want to burn both their shields, then uh, we've got we've got a lot more play if they burn both their shields in this lead matchup. Like, we can do a lot of stuff if they burn both shields. 
Um, and if they do, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna switch. Because now we're up shields. Like, okay, lunge me. Go for it. If you discharge me, then I'll feel bad. But if you just lunge me here, it doesn't do enough. Yeah, I was like, they're gonna lunge. Because they're, they're looking to come in on a relatively neutral matchup next. This is not a relatively neutral matchup. This is a, a really good matchup for them. <laughs> I mean, Galvantula hits really, really, really hard. Unfortunately, we don't hit hard enough once we're debuffed. Once we're debuffed. Oh, this that lag is a bummer. We might have actually gotten to a move there. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and let this go. Go for it. I'm still going to let this go. I know it seems crazy, but I'm going to let Skarmory come in and we're just going to be able to hopefully run through their team with uh, all of this, all of this energy. That's my hope, basically. That's my hope. Um, I still want to... Again, I know these hurt, but I'm saving the shield for the Galvantula. Okay. If we need it. I mean, I'm hoping that their last Pokemon is like a grass type or something. There we go. Nope. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> we are going to have a hard time here. This isn't impossible. Believe it or not, this is not an impossible matchup to win. It's just not a probable matchup to win. Even with the shield. Brave Bird does an awful lot to this thing, but uh, maybe if we double Brave Birded, it's like in the realm of possible. But we're not going to. It's So it's it's mostly that uh, Brave Bird does like almost half or or something close. Like it's, it's, uh, it's way more than you'd expect. In fact, if I can land one, I'll just do it. Oh, but it's it that we're not winning that like we needed a little more health. Oh, we actually, we will get to land a brave bird. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Right? Like that's, that's not nothing <laughs> with more health and the shield. I think we could have done it. Like we actually, cause, cause the mud shots do nothing. So if we had more health to work with, um, we might have been able to we might have been able to steal that but gg's to our opponent all right let's go let's go let's see if we can find ourselves some more uh matchups all right damocles our next opponent let's find some stun fisks up front if we're gonna run into them all right venusaur and basti all right let's go let's go what do you got? What's your plan, friends? I imagine trying to switch out on... Like trying to switch out on a frenzy plant, maybe? Or just take the frenzy plants and and go get to a flamethrower and take shield advantage. Also a distinct possibility for our friend here. Like, that looks like a... I mean, I'm, I'm still going to shield. They could very easily be on shadows in the back, but our team is pretty good against the shadows. So I don't want to, and if this is, yeah, this, like this matchup's awkward. This matchup's very awkward. We're still going to take the first move we can. Normally I don't bait in this matchup. Normally I don't bait in this matchup, but I actually, ooh, Thunderbolt. Uh, I actually think I'm going to bait this time. I think because they have the shield advantage and they care about switch advantage, I think that they're going to oh why do i adjust my play patterns why do i change anything why do we change uh ow but also i guess i don't know why we change anything and they're gonna shield this one probably right Nope. Okay. We still keep switch advantage. That's fine. We still keep switch advantage, which is important because obviously we have, uh, we still have a Skarmory in the back. <laughs> so, oh good. We're, we, we, so the D you're learning about copy pasta. That's all that matters. 
Yep. It's not a shadow though. Is it really Grasshole if it's not shadow? And they've quit. So that's one of the reasons why that team is sometimes like, way people give it shit is that frequently it's just like, well, if they counter your swaps, then you just lose. There's just no play there. There's no play there. All right, Angel Machete. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready for you. Venusaur into a Meganium. Deal. Let's go. We are faster to our, our quote unquote nuke move and our nuke move uh, is better. So. Oh, that's unfortunate though. That's pretty unfortunate. Upside is, I'm just gonna go here. Actually, you know what? I should have gone to Alola Marowak. I don't know what I'm doing. I made a mistake here. I should have gone to Alola Marowak. Um, I was thinking about something and I then messed up. <laughs> I should not have been thinking. Let's put it that way. Definitely Alola Marowak here. Skarmory just blanks Meganium, so we should have not done that. Yes, at least we get, I mean, the funny thing is the the extra damage we snuck in with the uh, Sludge Bomb is actually somewhat relevant. It's somewhat relevant. There's the Sky Attack. So the funny thing is the next one, if it's, if it's a Brave Bird, is actually potentially lethal. So, like, it's worth noting that you can sort of steal this in the end if you uh, try and Brave Bird. But I think that's why I'm just going to jam straight on a uh, sky attack here if we can get to it. Yeah, because I don't because I think that that's sort of that's how you sort of sneak it in. There we go. Okay. I like that. And then there's the stun fisk. Okay. They can't kill me with mud shots. So... Or they could try and kill me with mud shots, but it's going to take them an exceptionally long time. The downside is, is that if they do successfully kill me with mud shots, I'm in a lot of trouble. Perfect. Perfect. We land the Brave Bird. We come back in. So I think what we do here is we bring uh, Venusaur in. And we just have to be careful about our shields because of the fact that what we don't want is that Meganium basically earthquaking us out. I'm allowed to use one shield in this matchup. One. Ugh. It's okay. It's okay. This is still, I think, where we want to be. There's their shield. They still can't mud shot me down. So basically, I feel like... Here's the plan now. And I know that their Meganium has... Um... Earthquake energy, more or less, because of their really well-timed switch out. So, what we're going to do... Ooh. The two shields... This If this is another Earthquake, we lose. It's not, though. Farm, 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 farm. Straight Shadow Ball the Meganium. Two shield. I mean, they're going to bait me a couple times, but I just don't think they're going to be able to get to enough earthquakes with the only the one shield here. Like, they can bait me twice, but... I mean, a, a frenzy plant might actually just kill us from here. It is not outside the realm of possibility that we just die to a frenzy plant, but we still have the shields. <laughs> so I think it's okay. I think we're going to be fine. We had to get a little creative here at the end, but... I don't think they can get to enough Frenzy Plants. Although, I feel like they have more energy than what they're throwing right now. So, if they got to two, I'm going to be very sad. I'm going to be very, very sad. Okay, GG's. Ooh. Ooh. All right, a Broken Tree. Our next opponent. Venusaur. Skarmory. Send. Send help. So, we're going to go to our own Skarmory. Sometimes, if this is the Caleb team... They're just going to be stuck here. I like it. 
There's a high probability that they are stuck here. I love I love being able to swap into this matchup and be like, oh, I know what I know their back two Pokemon are grass types. Like I already know. It's probably Shiftry and Meganium in the back. Their back two Pokemon are almost certainly Shiftry and Meganium. So we have to be careful about our shields. We have to be careful about our shields because Shiftry can do a lot of work. Um but at the same time, we, we have two Pokemon that are relatively good against double grass um, remaining. This whole team is pretty good against grass. So we're ready for it. We are ready for it. Yeah, almost certainly two grasses in the back. Like, I am 99% I am sure that that's, that's what's going on here. So we just have to, we have to play smartly because... Uh, there's definitely some play patterns here that are good for them. Did they they shielded that, didn't they? Okay. Oh, they've used both their shields. Lol. I did not realize that they had used both their shields already. Oh, I kind of punted that, didn't I? All right. Where do I go against an AWAC lead? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> AWAC, I guess. We lose. Bye. We'll just Brave Bird that. Bring it. Shields are down, so the Sludge Bomb will absolutely nuke. This is not where I wanted to be, though. Like, my, the thing that's actually making me nervous is that, like, I did not want to be in this position where we were shields down. Because both these Pokemon have win conditions against our remaining Pokemon once the shields are down. It's actually pretty awkward. It's actually pretty awkward. Unless the Sludge Bomb KOs, which it might. Okay, it does. Perfect. Because the Meganium cannot farm you here. Yes, and we get our... Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're now fine. Whew. Got a little, a little dicey there. Yeah, Earthquake and AWAC is uh, real bad. But, I mean, they have to Frenzy Plant me, and then the AWAC kills. So... I, I, I believe they are extremely dead. <laughs> They're extremely dead. Yeah. Oh, no. You frenzy planted me. The funny thing is like, the Skarmory is still alive. Because I knew what their team was, I actually kept the Skarmory around. <laughs> GG's opponent. I just like... I, I know that sometimes people lead Skarmories and don't have grass in the back. Two grass in the back. But uh, when they do you know right away. Like, I just, I, I knew exactly what their team comp was without them even actually showing me any Pokemon other than Skarmory. Yeah, Zabix, that's what I should have done. I, I got, I got weird and greedy at the end of that. I got weird and greedy at the end of that. That was not, that was not good play for me. All right. Four wins. I'll take it. <laughs> and another Pidgeot. Our second Pidgeot today. Ugh. Why though? Why though? What are we doing with these Pidgeots? Not into it. Not into it at all. 